You guys don't know this, but uh, I spend like 30 minutes in front of this camera, and if I don't have any water, like the first 10 minutes, I'm fucking cotton mouth. Okay, maybe you want to get into lo-fi, but you're shy, and you just want a little taste of it before you actually delve into it completely. Well, my friends, welcome to Bedroom Pop. If you don't know what it is, Bedroom Pop loosely describes a musical genre or aesthetic in which bands record at home rather than at traditional recording spaces. It is also connoted with DIY. By the 2010s, journalists would discriminately apply Bedroom Pop for any music that sounded quote-unquote fuzzy. Known artists of Bedroom Pop are Claro, Cuco, Kurt Vile, 6 9 and Papa Topo. Wait a minute, so I don't have to go and spend a lot of money at a recording studio to make music? Of course you don't, you fucking idiot. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a bedroom pop type beat using your phone on GarageBand. And if you like this video, drop a like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're new, and without further ado, let's begin the video. The tempo for this beat is 95, the key is E sharp minor, and the first instrument that we'll use is a keyboard called Whirly. Now you can pretty much do whatever you want, just try to keep it simple. For me, I went down and up to make it sound a little bit sad, but at the end it's just a little bit happy, you know what I mean? The second layer is called Reminisce Keys and it's with the same chords to make it sound a little bit more dreamy. The next synth that I use is called Soft Analog that I modified heavily to make it sound like it does in this beat. This is the first layer of Soft Analog just to add a little bit of texture. Now for this beat, you're gonna need something that sounds really childish, but also can get stuck in people's heads. So what do you need? What is that? Chimes. So the second layer of soft analog is basically the lead of the song, and this is what it sounds like completely dry. And this is the same thing, but with flanger, compressor, reverb, and tremolo. There is another lead in this song that comes in right before the drums, and it's a custom sound that I made from an already existing synth. If you guys need help or want a video on how to make custom sounds in GarageBand, just let me know in the comments, and if enough people say it, maybe I'll make it. Also, in bedroom pop beats, there's always something in the beginning that's different from the other shit to make you sound like you're actually doing something. So what I did is add another layer of the keyboard whirly and just added chorus on it and it sounds like this. And also for the first eight bars, I added an Apple loop called Around Midnight Guitar Pattern with a lot of reverb on it. Insert unfunny joke. How much reverb you got? A lot. Now onto the drums, the easiest part of any bedroom pop song because they all sound the same. Now there are two ways that you can go with this, you can either go electronic or you can go acoustic. For me, I decided to go acoustic because I'm a pretentious asshole. The snare is from the drum kit 4 on the floor and it's hitting the 2nd and 4th bar. The kick is from the same drum kit and it sounds like this. The hats are from the drum beat SoCal and it sounds a little bit interesting.
And now everybody's favorite part of a bedroom pop song, the corny vocals. I mean, just the vocals. Now the writing is a very simple process. All you need is a boy or a girl or whatever you like to have a crush on. And you also have to be between the ages of 12 and 16. Now just write down how this person makes you feel all flustered and all antsy and your pantsy and just release all of those sexually repressed feelings that you've had since you started puberty six months ago. And also you don't have to be able to sing because autotune is a thing and people will be so amazed by your deep and thought provoking lyrics. You put that all together and I now present to you Stay With Me Forever by uh, Nightlight. I hope you enjoy. Say this once, I know that I don't say too much to you Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Shout out to these two patrons who make these videos possible. Shout out to these two people. I shout out two people who like and comment in the last video. So like and comment for that. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Baby, I'll just say this once. I know that I don't say too much to you. But I want to do you. Yeah, I want to tell you how I feel. Make me see the real you